1960, we had a big problem. It wasn't easy to get to California. How can we get people and material from one side of the country to the other? Well, as some of you know, the answer was pretty easy. It was going to be the completion of a transcontinental railroad. And this railroad would travel from the connecting railroads on the East Coast to the connecting railroads on the West Coast and form one long line that you could take. On the western portion, they brought in 12,000 Chinese men to work on the railroad. Now most of you know, if you look at the picture, where the two engines are meeting at Promontory Point, there are no Chinese in the picture. What most people don't realize is that they weren't offered a discount or break on the price, so most of those men walked back from Promontory Point, Utah, back to California. But, nevertheless, the railroad was a major event in American history not just Chinese-American history. It changed the time it took to get from New York City to Sacramento from 166 days to 11 days. I've been working on a railroad all the live long day. I've been working on a railroad, Lord, just to pass the time. Daddy worked on a railroad, he had to find a better way, he had to pound his heart out, pound his heart out for pennies a day, so when I see an old freight train, hear one rolling along, I just remember my granddaddy, how he sang this song. I've been working on a railroad all the live long day. I've been working on a railroad, Lord, just to try and make it pay. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? They rise up so early in the morning. Can't you hear the captain calling? Hey, boy, blow you. in the kitchen with Dinah, someone's in the kitchen I know, someone's in the kitchen with Dinah, Lord, why don't they let that poor boy go, can't you hear the whistle blowing, hey rise up so early in the morning, can't you hear the captain calling, hey boy blow you. as I said at the aforementioned promontory point. And one of the remarkable things that happened was there was a uh, contest to see who could lay the most track in one day. And of course everybody lent their back to it. By the time they finished it, it was a, people had been working on the railroad for a while. The Chinese laid uh, 10 miles of track in one day. Feet which has never been surpassed, probably because nobody wants to do it. <coughs> part, of, part of the problem is that a length of railroad track, rail, weighs about uh, 500 pounds. It's about 10 feet long, 12 feet long, weighs 500 pounds. One person can't lift it by themselves. Well, unless, of course, you're a former governor. Um, but generally, it could be said that nobody can lift a 500 pound rail time after time. So here's a little song about that. Come all you railroad workers, conductors and engineers, I'll sing you all a story that's pleasant to the ears. All about those sturdy China boys, how they met the test. They crossed the snowy mountains and beat out all the rest. But it went go on down the line, go on down the line. Now they come my darling, coming down the line. Go on down the line, go on down the line. 
Now comes my darling 